From the godlike developers that brought to us Fallout 3, an RPG with first person based combat, comes a first person shooter with weak RPG. Wait. This is Fallout 4? What? I would understand if this was some spin off game with the Fallout name slapped on there to boost sales. But no. This is the direct sequel to Fallout 3. <laughs> Next. Uh, oh, come on, you freaking piece of work. Mm. Screw it, I'll get a new one. An installment. To the Fallout series. I could really get into this if I had a thick pair of nostalgia goggles that just kept on showing me Fallout 3. But I don't. So I can't. Let's take a look at the leveling system. Basically, instead of special skills and perks, you have just the perks that require a certain amount of points and special. A dumbification from the previous games. The perks themselves are pretty basic. This one, Meow, gives you more pow pow damage, and Aqua Boy lets you. Breathe underwater? That's not a perk, that's a friggin' superpower. And we all know that superpowers in games apparently suck. How did Fallout 4 get away with it, but not Saints Row 4? Loading times are another issue. Long load times are expected in RPGs, but this is an FPS, bro. Get wrecked. Mate, do you even know scope? Mate, oh, I can't think of anything else to say. So this lo look, this look, just look, look, unabridged, unadulterated. Loading from the main menu. Look at this retarded power armor. For too long. It's not as bad as Witcher Three loading time, but then Witcher Three is just a significantly better game. <laughs> Significantly. Now let's see how the radar no longer shows where people are. I understand that you wouldn't want to show where the enemies are. That makes the game a little too easy. But people, NPCs that you can just talk to, they need to show up. Try to find this one chick? I just quit. It was pathetic. Oh, there she is. Conversations are brutal. Most NPCs sound like I did the voice acting for them. And the player character only has four options. Yes, no, sarcastic, and question? There are some exceptions, but for the most part, you will find that it is yes, no, sarcastic, and then a question that may or may not be related to the topic at hand. Guess since it's more action-oriented than story-oriented, voice acting was low on the old development totem pole. And here you have, even in the first conversation, an option limited to yes, no, sarcastic, and tell me more. And in the end, it's not really a choice at all. Because even if you say no throughout the entire conversation, this screen pops up in your face anyway. And my name, of course, in Ota Jontron, will be Balls. Let's see my quest here. Make a bed. Make a bed. I mean, even Vault Homie here is spitting out a turret. Let me do that. After continuing this little quest line, you do eventually get to build a turret. But first you gotta play Minecraft. We all know how to play Minecraft, am I right? Yeah. Bonk that tree. Power armor sucks! It used to just be armor. Now it's a slow, nuclear power guzzling death trap with an unreadable HUD. What, what What's with all these gauges? Is that a speedometer? 80 miles per hour, huh? Yeah, I doubt it. These were just some of the issues regarding Fallout 4. This video did not cover all the problems or anything Fallout 4 did well. Let me know in the comments if I should keep going with this style of video. Or tell me how wrong I am. Or just say hi.